السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته ويلكم تو هسيب الكورانيك سترينز this insect killer is not working we have to test it before working on this insect killer bug killer remind beware it have very high voltage most of the time it have about 35,000 volt 35 kilo volt so it is very very dangerous never go to repair attempt if you don't have a good knowledge about dealing with high voltage so first of all for safety purpose before opening the safety cover use a screwdriver or any metallic part with insulated handle connect the inner inner wires inner contacts together short them together then short them in this way and never touch screwdriver never touch screwdriver from this side remove the power cable and give a good discharge when it is discharged here are its covers locks safety cover lock this lock broken because it is very old plastic So I removed safety cover. Now here we have our tray. This side. Oh, that's that's amazing. It's broken. It is broken, and it is the wires. The contacts are short together. Might be, maybe this is the reason for the damage of the circuit. now we will remove it we will open it we will discuss the circuit as well what is inside first of all we have to we have to arrange this strips because if we connect it with power these shorted contacts can damage so we connected it and now If we see here, this circuit is uh, divided into two portions. The first portion, that is the tube light driver. That is driver for this tube light. That is like a LED circuit and uh, it is SM, like SMPS or inverter section DC to DC, DC, AC to AC inverter and here we have voltage multiplier it have two sections one section is a tube driver it takes 220 volt here is bridge then here is a capacitor and after that there is inverter and output output for tube lamp at this side it have 220 volt
and after these points it have a resistor and it have two points one point is connected here and one point this point point A is connected here and point B is connected here this resistor this point B so this point is connected here this point is connected to a resistor and then it is connected to these bars so friends this circuit is working like this and we will study we will see the circuit how it's working first of all we will apply power if we check here we have this bridge rectifier after that we have this drivers transformer and output capacitors and these two lines are connected to the tube lamp these two lines are connected to tube lamp and these two lines are going to the second heater these two lines are going to the second heater second side filament this filament and this filament so we will apply power the blue lamp is working now how we can test the high voltage section and the high voltage section is not working so our one section is working when you apply power after that always make jumper make short never take a risk this lamp circuit is also loose we have to check it and now I will remove this circuit because this voltage multiplier every section every one diode and one capacitor will double the voltage some insect killers they apply voltage more than 30,000 the zappers they apply voltage more than 30,000 so here we have some component burnout we can see here is some burning sign so we have to check it yes you can see the circuit combination the one line is connected to inner side one line is connected to inner side the second line the second line from this point is connected here so we have to check this resistor this must be there must be a resistor so here is no resistor so first we uh, first of all we have to see the diodes 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 so we have 6 set every diode every diode is connected with one capacitor so all diodes are in series all diodes are in series and insulated by the capacitors these capacitors charge with the voltage and every section will multiply the voltage behind this so every section will multiply the voltage we cannot measure the voltage because our multimeters have only 1000 volt and if we want to test we have to use high voltage prop one line is here one line is here so we have to connect a resistor here R7 must be available because this resistor burn out I will remove a resistor because someone when he tried to repair he removed this resistor from this board so this resistor is missing I will install 
a resistor. It is in high voltage section in the flyback section, flyback section of this TV board. So we will use this resistor. It is 21k. So now the light is working, we install this resistor, just only take safety. Never touch your hand, never touch any metallic part to this uh, conductors because it is very dangerous it have very high voltage We have to manage the connections again, so we have to pack it up. So we we connected this burnout resistor here, new resistor. It's about 21k. It should be higher value so that if it is 47k or around that. That will work good. But this value is also reasonable because it have to give a spark to the insects for a final check. The loose connection is finished now. The loose connection is finished. And is giving a zap sound. All the areas are working. So that's good. If this video is good for you, like, subscribe and share if you want. And if you want to watch my future videos, press the like on button. Thanks for watching. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.